Turns out your smile can say a lot more about you than you think. It may have an effect on whether or not you get a job, get promoted, or even find lasting love. I recently learned just how much our oral health impacts the way others view us. Joining me now is Dr. Gail Salsa, a relationship expert and best-selling author. Thank you so much for joining us today. Nice to be here. So we're talking about oral health, and we're not just talking about our smile. Tell us, uh, tell us about the findings from this survey. Well, Listerine conducted this national survey and really found that your oral health greatly affects all different social situations of life from your personal confidence to um, relationship issues, how you uh, relate to others, how you make friends with others, and even into career. So issues like you know, going for that promotion or getting that job, making a speech, those kinds of things are really impacted overall by your oral health. And as you pointed out, not just um, do you smile, but what does your smile look like? Do you have good breath? Um, things like that. I, I suddenly feel the urge to, to floss my teeth now talking, <laughs> talking to you. Uh, and uh, so you should, and so you should. Um, interesting that it can also, eight in 10 people believe they actually have a healthy mouth, but just because you don't have cavities does not necessarily mean that you have a healthy mouth. I wonder if you could speak to that. Yeah, I, I think this is the, the, the survey showed that actually most people do think they have a healthy mouth. But, you know, a healthy mouth has to do with more than just um, your teeth and do you brush them. And, you know, it's your gum health. It's your overall oral health. And uh, the reality is that most Americans do not have healthy oral care. They, they do not have a totally healthy mouth. The good thing is, however, that you all are able to do something about that. So um, whether that is uh, seeing a dentist twice a year or taking into matters into your own hands, like using therapeutic products like Listerine, mm -hmm. you can greatly impact your own oral health. And I wonder, in your vast knowledge and experience, um, how, how we are perceived by our, you know, our face and our, our teeth. How, oral health, kind yes. Of, yeah, how does that affect our, our interpersonal relationships? Yeah. Well, it really does because both consciously and unconsciously, right, we're really primed to look for people and interact with people um, who are healthy um, and who are care about grooming and uh, who we're attracted to. And all of that is impacted by the way your mouth looks and smells. So smell is a huge part of attraction. And, uh, you know, if someone has bad breath, that really impacts how attracted you feel to them. And that's not just about romantic relationships. That's like all relationships. Um, and, and additionally, um, how they look says something about, you know, are they a person who cares about their grooming or do they have health issues in general? And uh, again, consciously we're attracted to people who do care and who are healthy, um, but even unconsciously from an evolutionary perspective, we tend to look for healthy people, um, you know, to propagate our genes as it were. And uh, that definitely affects our attraction to others. Yeah, you touched on something. You can always tell when you've had an interaction with someone who has bad breath. When someone necessarily hasn't had breath, bad breath, you kind of think, oh, that was pleasant and you can't necessarily pinpoint what it was but I I suspect it has something to do with their oral health exactly exactly in fact the survey specifically found that seven out of ten people found, felt that a bad breath was a deal breaker for relationships and that ranked above other things that you would think might be deal breakers like chewing with your mouth open or uh, spitting while you talk or <laughs> um, even texting during dinner so it's it's kind of a biggie it really ranks up there all right, well, Dr. Gail Sauls, thank you so much for uh, sharing all this information with us. And where can people find out more information on you? Well, you can find out more information on me, my participation, and the survey results from Listerine.com. All right, thanks again for joining us. And uh, I'm going to go brush my teeth now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>